Now, as we mentioned a few moments ago, there was another breaking news story, this one in Ligonier. That's where a tractor trailer has overturned. Police say the truck crashed into a creek on Route 30 near Sleepy Hollow Causeway. Let's get right to Ross Gadotti, who's live with more. Ross. Are you serious? Good afternoon. If you are heading 30 westbound toward Ligonier or you plan on coming this way, you might want to think again, and here's why. Take a look at it. At 8 o'clock this morning, you could see the tracks right here heading off into the Loyal Hannah Creek. A tractor trailer from Maine's paper heading to a nearby Burger King. Driver and passenger on board. The rig went right through this guardrail over an embankment. The passenger somehow freed himself. They suffered a minor head injury and a bloody nose. Nothing major. The driver, however, had his leg caught up inside the cab. He was trapped. Multiple rescue crews res responded, initiated a very difficult technical rescue. They recovered and treated the driver, both individuals taken to a nearby hospital for evaluation. Now, hazmat teams, while the rescue was going on, began to set up ba uh, barriers, what are called absorption socks, across the creek to try to gra gather as much of the significant amount of diesel fuel and oil that spilled in when the fl rig flipped over. Now, how this how did this happen how did this truck end up in the loyal hannah creek well we spoke to ligonier townships police chief here's what he had to say at this point that uh, the driver was fatigued uh, that came from a statement of the driver himself and uh, which obviously resulted in him going off the road and and uh, and having an accident we are just beginning the uh, recovery uh, so that's going to be hours i'm uh, probably four or five hours i bet at least um, maybe longer. Go. Rescue officials say these gentlemen are obviously very fortunate to have survived this crash, but they also say this would have been a recovery operation and not a rescue operation if the Loyal Hannah had been running like it's been the last couple of weeks due to the amazing amount of rain. The creek has been significantly above flood stage for whatever reason. It wasn't today, and both men were able to survive. More on the investigation into this accident coming up today on KDKA TV News at 5 and 6. Please join us then. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.